Um, so what we're going to do now, now that we've gone through, we're going to actually run our rendering option, which is uh, where we left off in right before the break. So we're going to go to cleanup right here under the SAI. We're going to go to cleanup. And all we're going to click is rendering. And then that's it. And we're going to say, OK. You should get cleanup complete, again, depending on the speed of, of your computer, and then hit OK. Once we get there, we'll move on to the next part. OK. And so now that we've run rendering, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and compose our space break uh, paragraphs. Um, essentially, any um, or any um, styles that need uh, any paragraphs that will are not standard or anything like that, like standard text uh, paragraphs. So we're going to go ahead, and this includes uh, the copyright page here. So we're going to get rid of that copyright information. Delete the square bracket there, and we're going to compose those as CRT. All right. You can also go to the style galleries. No default, I believe, right there in the front matter, you'll have CRT here as number eight. And before we continue on, we're going to go ahead and compose this series page as well. You'll notice something interesting. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this open bracket. If you have invisibles turned on um, or the form formatting marks turned on, You'll notice that these are um, they're soft returns. They're not um, paragraph breaks. And you can actually tell because the normal style here is only being applied to this first line. So if I go ahead and come here and say, I want to make this SER for series entry, all of them will be composed. But this paragraph is actually um, the way that it will translate, it's everything almost on one line. You would lose the different line distinctions. So in order to fix that, what we're going to do is we're just going to introduce uh, paragraph breaks there. And you can see that after we've gone ahead and composed it, it keeps, it keeps the paragraph style. And now each line is styled, composed, excuse me, as it should be. All right. Um, I'll just break in real quick to say that the reason that we do that is because um, there are certain cleanups and things that will happen when this document goes into the digital hub, either um, uh, at the step where what we're going to talk about next week, you seeing composed documents. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to upload that to the hub, uh, or if you're moving it from maybe Word to typesetting or design and you're converting it, um, soft returns like that are going to get removed automatically, basically. Um, so when Elvis says the paragraph ends there, what we're thinking about is in the XML version, like where's the opening and closing tags, where the actual line break's going to be. So we always need separate paragraphs denoted by um, true hard return, what we'd call, as opposed to those um, soft returns. Uh, same thing goes for typesetting. Uh, in typesetting, soft returns are going to be essentially ignored. Uh, so we always want to have breaks not be accomplished with um, breaks and spacing accomplished with hard returns. So. That's why we're removing that at this stage. Correct. And so we'll move down, further down, hoping that everybody's following um, along. We'll move down here to the rest of the copyright page. We're just going to go ahead and delete these extra uh, square brackets. And this will give people time to catch up if they need to as I go through and just get rid of those and I'll show you a quick way to do it. You can also search and replace uh, for those square brackets if, for example, your file has a lot of them, um, but um, that is not necessary here as it only exists here in the front matter. So we'll get rid of these. And you'll see the soft returns here again. So what we'll do is just replace those with an actual true paragraph break. 
as you can see when you compose there are some things that are that are manual that you just have to do um, yourself um, but most of it will be handled via the SAI so I'll show you show you now that if I go here and compose this as CRT I'm losing that spacing distinction right that existed here and that you can see here clearly so if I go through and compose this whole thing as CRT it's just going to become one big block of text right and that's not what I need I actually need to preserve that spacing distinction right so because all of these have a space above again we don't want to have something with um, space above um, um, something with space below last um, preceding something with space above uh, the space would be too big in that instance we would um, what we're going to do is we're going to compose these as CRT F and so just to compose the whole thing right because there is no other distinction there's no indentation in which we would use CRT1 or anything like that we're just going to keep everything as CRTF and now the text size got smaller but we retained our spacing distinction throughout but you'll notice something here this library of, of uh, Congress catalog and publication or CIP data should not be CRT just in case this needs to be um, rendered in a different way during design so this is actually um, CIP for catalog and publication so I'm going to take this te this text here and apply CIPF it's not very different but you can see that the style changed here in the style area pane okay are we okay to go forward and continue composing uh, the space break paragraphs okay I'll take the silence as is oh there you go Beth gave me a K that's good so we're gonna again get rid of this dedication again you you won't always have to deal with like authors giving you instructions sometimes it's helpful other times it might be a little bit cumbersome but when we receive the files we often receive them in a uh, in various um, different states right do we set print lines manually? No, usually they're already set for us. This was just for the case of the demo that it just says print line in this case. But those are usually set um, already. And so here, the dedication, you'll notice this TK that just means uh, to come. It's a note to the, um, to the typesetter. We're gonna leave that as is and the, the typesetter will read that. We can also make this into a query uh, but for the purposes of this demo we'll just pretend that there is actual text here right and we're going to go ahead and compose that as dedication we're going to get the academic sheet here and I believe this one doesn't have it so we'll go no default likely under book hmm. so here we're going to go over to our list and search up the ET <laughs> it should be under book but Oh, it was there under book. It was? So you okay. opened that up again. Yep. Yeah. I may have just overlooked it. There we go. Uh, yep. Down. There we go. And so DD for dedication. Yeah, front matter DD. There you go. And so continuing on, right here, we're going to take care of our uh, table of contents. So we're going to load that style. This should probably also be the front matter here. I think Elvis, I just want to touch on one quick mm -hmm. thing. With this step five, this compose space break paragraph, mm -hmm. I know we're, you know we're doing a lot of granular coding. We're kind of at that step in the process. Mm -hmm. um, but there's um, things that the hub is going to do automatically for you, like putting in CQF in multi-paragraph block quotes. Uh, this step is to identify things that like humans need to 
uh, code. So for example, if you have a line, a big block of poetry and it has stanza breaks in it, like the human needs to go put in SLF for those stanza breaks that there's space above. Um, or if you have three block quotes that are separate, not part of the same quote stacked on top of each other, you're going to identify those separate things at this stage because those aren't things that the hub is necessarily going to identify automatically. So, so those are the things that we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. um, the hub is going to help with a lot of things automatically later on in the step we call refining. But now we're kind of um, uh, preparing the text to be refined in that way. And so continuing uh, forward, we're going to go ahead and compose our um, our table of contents, and we're just going to go ahead and compose this quickly. You can select, so I'll, this one will actually be TOCFM for front matter. We don't actually have a preface, but the preface usually falls um, as part of the front matter, but we're going to go ahead and compose our chapters. We're going to select each individual one, and those are TOC. Oh, the last one only got composed, so we'll just go ahead and do this. There you go. And then our authors are TOCAU. So we'll go ahead and compose those. All right. And then the subheads are TOC1 because they are underneath TOC. Then this last index, which we won't actually see, is TLC BM. And so here we have our table of contents composed there properly. And we can actually get rid of these italics um, because TLCAU, all TLCAUs are italic. Um, I'll give you a quick shortcut, especially on PC. I'm not sure if on Mac, but on PC, if you are um, if you select text and hit control space, that usually applies the default paragraph uh, um, character style. So uh, you can get rid of um, local formatting in that way. You can also get rid of local fo uh, formatting using this find text formatting option here in the um, SAI. Find text formatting and clear local. That didn't actually do it. We'll look into that, but in this case, control space will work there. And so we'll continue on. And again, we're looking for um, space break paragraphs, um, any elements that you know will lose um, will lose uh, their distinctions um, when we get rid of empty spaces, um, tabs, and returns, and things like that. Um, and actually, we are just for the sake. Well, actually, no, we won't do that. So we'll go through and just check for anything that needs those uh, spacing distinctions. I know I'm skipping over these other um, specialized um, paragraphs that we can see rendered in this way. Uh, we'll go back to those um, in a little bit. So here, for example, SEC, we lose some of that information. So we'd go style. What should be under? No. Oh, we'll go here. Let's see about list. Just to show you. Here. There's SEC, and that would be under body. So we're going to go back here, go under body, like that. There it is. I'm going to click in here and section. 